Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior, baby. Ah. Ultimate Warrior. Oh, the nine-year-old version of myself is just going crazy right now. You don't understand. Oh, and I think that's where my maturity level pretty much capped off because we had found the stars that we love and we're going to continue to delve into the electrifying world of professional wrestling and joining us, two dynamic athletes from the African Wrestling Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, stepping into the square circle, the undisputed all-African heavyweight champion, the magnificent Mike Zander! And professional wrestler, Johnny Pow Pow Palacio! Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> every ounce of my being, every part of my genetic fiber loves you guys. Thanks. Thank you Thanks so much lot, for man. being that's, here, man. That's amazing. <laughs> Buddy, I don't think people know what you put yourselves through to get this done. It's entertainment merged with a combat sport, merged with gymnastics, merged with a kind of physics that I think defies reality. It's incredible. Let's start with that belt, buddy. Let's start with that belt. Zander, when you first started your journey as a professional wrestler, what was the goal? What was the aim? Were you like me, just dying to emulate who you had seen as a kid doing the most amazing things? Or was that belt what you were after? Talk us through your journey. Well, at first I did. I just started because I, was, I wanted to see if I could do it. But the minute I, could see, I saw oh, I'm, actually, I'm actually quite good at this, the belt was... Obviously, that, that was where I was going. I knew that ex eventually that's going to be my belt and nobody was going to take the belt from me. Oh, I like yeah, it. We'll, we'll see. Oh, I like it, man. I don't know why you're looking at me like that, bro. Don't bring the fire in the eyes to me, man. You, waste his eyeing you, bro. You're going to challenge anyone. Ryle has been talking smack since you walked in here. He was like, ah, Ooh. that jacket, ah. You're going to have to teach anyone him, man. Can get it. Anyone can get it. You feel like you can take it? Try me and Just see. try, yeah. buddy. You must be magnificent if you want to try. Um, I, I love the fact that you guys get to do this on the level that you do here on our continent. Johnny, what does it take, buddy? What does it take physically, mentally, to play this game? Because it's massive. You guys look like you're having fun, but the training and the phys physical conditioning is off the charts. Um... <sighs> <laughs> Look, it's 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 a combination. I would say it's more heart. It's really? more heart than anything. Yeah. Like anyone can step in. Anyone can train for a year before you get. Well, we 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 work on about a year. So once the once we are like happy that the person's at a certain level, um, it usually takes about a year. Then you know they get to see the inside of the ring. But um, wow. big guys come. They last a couple of weeks, couple of months. Run away. It's the little guys that hang around, man. Chop them down. Chop yeah, them it's down. The little guys at that hang around. It's, it's all in here. Eh? It's all in here. I promise you, it's all in there. Um, because that's what <clears throat> the audiences and the fans, and when we talk about super fans, when it comes to wrestling, when it comes to your space, you get fans who demand a certain level of entertainment, but yeah. also an emotional connection. They need to know the character, the person. So, Mr. Magnificent over here, how did you arrive at this persona? Was it always just waiting to come out? Did you have to foster it? <laughs> I have a feeling it was always there. I have a feeling that the three-year-old version of Zander was, was suplexing his, his younger brother. I, I just yeah. need to know where the persona came from because that's as important yeah. as the, the physical attributes in the mental game. Now, basically, it's, it's my, I, I took myself and I just... Multiplied it. <laughs> and I'm divided it. Divided it. I exaggerated my own personality to get to the character that I wanted. I knew what I wanted to do. At first, they didn't want me to do the whole Mike Zander thing, but I kind of said, give me one chance and I'll show you. Yeah, I'll show, I'll you, show you that I'm, I'm Mike Zander and I'm going to be the biggest thing that you have here. That, that glittering little belt there. Yeah. That A W F heavyweight. This belt. Oh, man. Look at it. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, it's so beautiful, I want to give it a shot. <coughs> okay. I'm tiny, eh? I'm, I'm really small. <laughs> You're nuggety, bro. It's called nuggety. Nuggety. You, yeah. could, you could spiral past me across the, well, the ring to the next What we'll do is me and you can tag him, and I'll literally just chuck it at him. <laughs> yeah. like, I'll hit him in the eye, maybe, and we'll get, a, we'll get a, a, an opportunity. Um, you know, when we talk about those super fans, 
they get something from wrestling that goes beyond just entertainment. Oh, yeah, 100%. When you're out there and you feel that, because you feed off that energy clearly with the way yeah. that you guys, what you throw down there in the ring, what is it like for those spectators? What energy do you get from your fans, well, man? Well, we, we've been very blessed. We've got a, um, a regular show we do quarterly. So it's called the House of Pain. It's usually in the Paris, of course. Paris Civic Center. <laughs> plug, 30th of April, plug. Word round the corner, <laughs> baby, yeah. And uh, we've got a loyal fan base that's been with us for about 20 years. So they, they know who he is before he comes out the curtain. They know who I am before I come out the curtain. The minute our music hits, we come out. They've already invested five, six years already. Their children are there, their grandparents. You know, yeah. it's a whole family they bring for the night. So it's, it's, it's not a show. It's like a family gathering. It's, it's an our experience. Fans. They come yeah. to watch and they walk away and they're just like, when's the next one? When's the next one? When's the next one? Family gathering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, I, I recommend everyone Everyone needs to come at least once. Hey, listen, you get it's family, only going to take one time. I, I was going to say, once that bug is bitten, and I, I'm, I've been lucky enough to work alongside amazing athletes like you throughout my career, so I know what it takes. And you get family gatherings that are warm and fuzzy and then you get family no, gatherings no, listen, that are yeah. funerals. You know, yeah, you can right. decide uh, which exactly. one. <laughs> um, you guys are amazing at what you do. Thank you for blazing a trail for the other wrestlers that are following and getting this platform because yeah. of what you guys are doing in that ring. We love you. Thank you so much. I cannot wait for see, to see Ryle get tied into a pretzel a little bit later. Will it happen? I don't know. You can start voting online. But you can see these guys do what they do ringside. And that is how it needs to be appreciated. Absolute magic. We love you guys. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.